<laughs> Come on, man. I want it right here. You gotta be kidding me. Look at this. <laughs> Come on, dude. Bro, there we go. Insane. This is actually pretty dope because as you guys know, we aren't getting any more updates for Into the Radius 1. It freaking sucks. It makes me so sad because some of my favorite updates were when we got new guns like the revolver or the Desert Eagle. So it bums me out that honestly we're never going to get any more new guns for this game unless somebody mods them in here. So thank God for Chuck. Because now dude, look at this. Look at this brother. Chuck is awesome dude. He creates some pretty dope mods for Into the Radius. You can get them on Nexus mods. You probably have heard of him. He just gave us a new mod that literally gives you two different variations of the m4 we got a reskin of the aks 74u did this get a retexture i think the i think the shotgun may have gotten a retexture too i mean i'm pretty damn sure it did dude look at that that is nice man mm. all right what's next rd704 it's a us made ak i think this is probably my new favorite gun in the game i don't know dude it is a toss up. It truly is. Like these two guns, I think these are gonna be my primaries now. I've been using the same guns in this game just like I know you guys have forever, dude. It's been so long since we've had any real tasty new additions. We did get the FN Foul, if you guys remember, that was a new gun that came in an update. Our boy Chuck gave us a new variation of that same gun. I love these so much. Chuck has literally, he outdid himself this time, dude. We got a reskin for the Tiger Rifle too. I mean, okay, let's not lie. It's an extremely solid looking skin. I really like the redwood stock. I don't know why that just looks so, so classy, dude. You're actually going to piss yourself when you see this one because it's a, it, some people may think it's a meme, but it's not because this is actually the most OP gun in the entire game. Guys, we got a completely new skin for the Mosin agent. Look at that, dude. And guess what? Remember that sight that you could put on this gun? Well, does that not go perfectly with this? Can you tell me that isn't an actual match made in heaven? And I can't emphasize enough how detailed these skins look, man. These definitely up the immersion levels of the game. This isn't over yet, we got more, okay? Chuck isn't holding out on us, dude. He straight up set us up. All right, with some new attachments. We got laser pointer, new OKP7. He even changed the ACOG, dude, look at this. To four times scope with a reflex sight on top of it. Absolutely just decked us out with new sights dude so here let's take a look i'm gonna go put these on some of the guns i honestly dude i can't get over how awesome this ak looks look at that that's like a fairy with i don't know a sword or something engraved on here or maybe it's a hummingbird i'm not sure be careful boys you might pass out in a second here look do not tell me that does not look like a massive upgrade <laughs> this is my new go-to sight that is insane, brother. And then you got four times, dude. I wasn't expecting it to be as accurate as it is when it comes to switching between each of these sites on the fly. If you've been looking for a way to spice into the radius up and you're getting like a little bored, we've had basically the same assault rifles for years. So it's seriously nice to be getting these variations on the usual guns. Oh my gosh, the new laser sight. Mm. It is so nice having all of these freaking attachment slots now. These are some very thorough retextures because they seriously fit the aesthetic. Dude, especially this Mosin skin. I don't know why, but I just love, I love this kind of like, it's like a tiger look almost. Download this mod if you play on PC and use the Mosin, dude. Do a Mosin run, all right? With this retexture, because this makes me feel badass. I don't know why. <laughs> all right, I think that's all of them, dude. I think this is everything that we got in this mod. Don't quote me on that. There wasn't a specific like list saying what we precisely got that changed, but I'm pretty damn sure these are all different. This is all the stuff you get in this mod though, dude. This is like the most comprehensive weapon mod I think I've downloaded. And not only is it the most comprehensive, I'm gonna go as far as to say that it's the best one because the variations that we got for these two guns are going to make my next playthrough feel so, so different. I'm gonna feel like an actual assassin, dude. I'm gonna feel like a special agent out there killing mimics with these things. I'm freaking pumped, dude. Let's be honest here too, dude. The freaking FN Fowls retexture too. Oh my gosh. This is such a good weapon mod and it comes with attachments. It's like, dude, if you play this game on PC, find a way to download this mod. 
I have a video that you can go watch right now to learn how to download mods for this game. And if you do that, then you're gonna be able to get some sick ass weapon variations for the M4, the AK, the FN Foul, as well as a ton of retextures and new sights like this. This literally has a four times scope and a close range sight on the top. That is what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go ahead and restate some of the stuff that we got. All right, so we got a retexture for the laser pointer. The OKP7, we still have the ACOG, except now there's a reflex sight on top of it. We also get a retexture of the PU scope for the SKS and the Mosin. We got a Cobra D sight for any guns that you have with a dovetail joint. And the PSO-1D sight that realistically I only put on to the Tiger rifle also got a retexture that matches the Tiger rifle. Look at that, pretty much perfectly. It's the exact same metallic texture. I think we got a retexture for this pump action shotgun. <laughs> I am positive that we got a retexture for the AKS 74U and we got these variations for the M4. Basically this version, it has an elongated barrel. And then we got the version of the M4 that is literally used in the special forces of the US. You have an absolute shit ton of attachment slots now too. And I'm really digging the color. I honestly really like it. It's almost like crushed stone design on the grip. Then it's kind of that tan rocky color. And then we also got it's a US AK known as the RD704. And I mean, I don't even have to tell you how badass this one looks, dude. This AK reskin and then the M4 reskin skin i'd have to say are probably my favorite the mosin is definitely a close third but i'm really digging these reskins for the assault rifles and then we also got a retexture for the fn foul as well as another variation of it with basically it's got more attachment space and it looks cooler <laughs> i'd have to say that all of these retextures are winners the mosin looks amazing the tiger rifle looks insane the FN Foul, look at all this attachment space, dude. This thing looks dope. The M4 variations are literally my favorite that we got in this mod. And then let's not forget the AK. I don't know how you did it, man, but these mods are something else, seriously. I didn't think we were gonna ever get another new gun in Into the Radius, but these feel like new guns. Thank you, Chuck. Put a heart in the comments. All right, for Chuck, dude. This guy's out here making Into the Radius better than last time. And uh, just to celebrate, I'm going to try and take these through the kill house. So first off, let's do this. We're going to see which I can get the highest score with. So first up, I'm going to try the US made AK. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am just, oh God. Oh, oh, oh no. I am dragging ass right now, dude. Absolutely dragging ass. This is horrible, bro. All right, let's be honest here. That wasn't the best. I was getting a little bit confused swapping between the different sides. <laughs> Maybe that's just a skill issue on my part. All right, so now is the time for the M4, dude. This is the block two. I'm pretty damn sure that I'm gonna crush this record, all right? I do not remember doing 29 second run with 77% accuracy. All right, boys, the M4 is up. All right, you just gotta get a little into it, okay? No, I'm out already, bro. Damn, yeah, that's that sucked ass too. Hmm. I'm going to do one simple thing. I'm gonna use this sight. This is the FN foul. Let's see how this does. I definitely feel a little more all over the place with these shots. Let's get the fuck out of here, boys! All right, how was that, dude? That was like my best run with the FN Foul. I honestly think the difference may have been using this holographic sight. All right, so currently I have the highest score with the FN Foul, but okay, I'm gonna get the holographic scope and try it out on. Ooh, the AK with the holographic sight looks clean, bro. Now that I have the holographic sight on the AK, I'm gonna try this out again. All right, boys, let's do it. I said, fuck out of here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm definitely thinking maybe I skewed the results a little bit using that brand new sight. The four time zoom and the reflex sight on top is a little bit harder for me to use because as you can see here, boys, look at this, look at this. There's a trend, okay? 50 seconds using the four time sight that also had the reflex sight on top of it. As soon as I start using just this holographic sight, look at that, buddy. My score absolutely jumped. 42 seconds. That's 12 whole seconds less than the time it took me to complete this run. Now it's the M4's turn. Block two. Let's see how fast I am with the M4. A bad start.
Damn, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so basically with the AK and the holographic sight, I hit 35 seconds, all right? That was the top score. I got 63.8 points, which I think means I had more headshots and my accuracy was about 55%. Only took me 35 seconds to get through this entire kill house with the AK. And I mean, this is super interesting. So basically with this M4 and the holographic sight, I was able to get 36 seconds through this entire kill house, which is honestly way faster and the FN foul. I also hit 90% of the shots I took compared to the FN foul and the AK, which were both around 55%. So the M4's accuracy is absolutely insane. All right, I'm gonna run up here and test out the sniper rifles. Give them a proper shooting. What happened here, dude? What? I'm pretty damn sure this is just a glitch, but for some reason, it appears that the Tiger rifle up here in the firing range is kind of like a kind of like a pistol almost now. Can I even load this? I totally can. Are you shitting me? Brand new weapon hot off the press, dude. Look at this. We got a Tiger pistol. Tiger pistol coming at you, dude. Okay, I do have to say the Tiger pistol is definitely not as accurate as the Tiger rifle. <laughs> nice, dude. The Tiger pistol. All right, it's literally just a glitch. <laughs> Everybody, the main event of this video is going to be shooting the Mosin to Jahound. If you have a problem with the way that I say that word, buddy, <laughs> tell me about it in the comments. All right, let's give a few whirls off this thing. Man, the sight looks crystal clear. This is the same Mosin that we all know and love, just with an absolutely beautiful redesign. Freaking stellar, dude. If I'm being honest with you guys, I'm not super sure how to feel about the Tiger Rifle retexture. I kind of thought that the texture that was on the Tiger Rifle in this game was one of the better textures that any gun got. But I'm not gonna lie, I am digging this kind of red wood look. It's nice, okay? I'm not gonna lie. It's not like it's taking away from the rifle. It definitely adds to it, especially because this matches so well. I'm going to increase my level of immersion right now by like a million. Oh, fuck. Doing a little bit of lying down sniping right now. I'm gonna see if I can't get a shot dead middle, dude. I'm gonna try and get a bullseye. Okay, that was pretty damn close to a bullseye. Don't even lie, bullseye incoming. Come on, dude. Is that a bullseye? Does that count as a bullseye? I might just be blind or something, but that looks like it's in the dead middle of that circle. I'm pretty sure that's, that's every new gun that we got in this mod, so. These are all the guns that get tweaked in this mod. You get two new variations for the M4. Both have way more attachment slots than the actual vanilla M4 in this game. There's a new AK, it's a US version. Has way more attachment slots and I'm assuming this is also the US version of the FN PAL because it seems like Americans fucking love attachment slots uh, because I'm an American and <laughs> I can tell you, all of these new attachment slots on these guns are making me extremely happy, bro. If I'm being honest, the AK and the M4 are my favorite gun variations that we got in this mod. And then, of course, the Mosin reskin is, is second to none, dude. This is, uh, this is an extremely nice reskin. It fits the gun so freaking well. Mwah chef's kisses and then these are all the sites that we got all the new attachments that have been revamped a little bit unless i'm mistaken there's a second rail b attachment slot in here in this mod so i'm thinking chuck was about to deck us out with some new rail b attachments but he probably has other better shit to do for now this is more than i could have ever asked for chuck thank you this is going to make playing into the radius feel like it's brand new again the shortened ak with this dovetail attachment that was added is actually kinda, that's freaking sick looking, man. That looks really good. Wait, I'm gonna set a few off with this baby. <laughs> that's super good, dude. What the hell? This is a really comprehensive weapon mod, dude. This honestly almost feels like a, a dev update. So if you play this game mostly on PC VR, this is definitely a mod that you need to get. This is literally such a revamp of some of my favorite guns in this game, the FN Foul, the M4, and the AK, and especially this Mosin, dude. So go check out his Nexus mod page. I will leave a link to this mod in the description of this video if you want to go check it out and download it. If you don't know how to download mods for Into the Radio, Go watch this video, dude. I will show you exactly how to do that. Anyways, boys, that's the end of this video. I had a freaking blast showing you guys all these cool new guns and attachments that we got in this mod and getting to try them out here in the gun range. I hope you're having an amazing day, dude, and I hope you have an awesome weekend. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!